Hey folks, how we doing today? It's me again, Center Fox here, Devoted Patriots 2 channel. And I've got a little video clip for you, a little bit of squirming from the rats. Uh, at this point, the uh, FBI and the Department of Justice, uh, Merrick Garland, uh, Alejandro Mayorkas, Blinken, uh, Weiss, if I didn't already say that, uh, Christopher Ray, and a dozen other people are in trouble when they can actually be held accountable. Uh, we haven't got to the point that we can hold them accountable, but the obviousness of what is going on with the Biden family, with the corruption, with the Department of Justice covering it up, or with all these three-lettered agencies covering it up, stifling the IRS whistleblowers, uh, there is a litany of evidence that the governor, or that the government is intentionally trying to protect the Bidens and the Democrat Party as far as I'm concerned. Just my opinion, but they now uh, are past the point of allegations with just the amount of evidence they have. It hasn't been taken before court, so you can't actually say it, it, is, it, is, it is a done deal. But the information is coming out. It is documentable. Documentable. We have whistleblowers. There are so many different directions. The laptop, uh, the, the SR, SAR reports, uh, all these things are coming together to paint a picture, including the people that are uh, willing to come forward from CEFC and Burisma. Uh, that is some nail in the coffin type stuff that is going to uh, let the whole world know that Joe Biden was taking money from these people uh, when it all falls when it all falls in place. They are, uh, the way I have to look at it is they are building a puzzle at, at, at this point. We already know what the final picture looks like. Or at least got a pretty good idea. Now we're going to find out some more details about the outer edges eventually. But at the moment, we're just getting it together piece by piece, laying out the evidence and things. And it's taking a long time, it seems like. But we are in the deposition phase, and that is just part of the process. Getting everybody to come in, uh, say their piece, get up there and lie or, or obfuscate the truth. Or do like Weiss did this week and say that... Uh, at one point, he did have uh, permission to uh, set up a special counsel to investigate the Bidens, and then he turned right around, and to, uh, this week, I think yesterday, he says that he didn't have the authority, and um, it's just going back and forth with his answers, and now he's stifled up and said, uh, sent a letter to Grassley and said, basically, that because it's under investigation, Hunter Biden, that uh, they cannot divulge any more information about it, even though it's not classified. That's, that's the crazy part. Uh, but what it is, is when Hunter Biden got those two charges that they're putting off right now, they're being put off for the same reason that the charges were ever thrown at him. This is about delay of game. I, know, I don't know if everybody's on the same page with me about this, but it is absolute fact. Because Hunter Biden has got IRS problems, and uh, he's under investigation for that. They can say they're doing other counter investigations as a part of that that they ain't gonna tell you nothing about. All they, they can say, well, since this investigation is not 100% over, we may have some loose strings that we can look into other things about, which gives the FBI the permission slip to say we're not telling you nothing. It's under investigation. They did this on purpose. They uh, went after Hunter Biden Biden for this exact purpose, to protect them all. They were going to use him as the shield. I see it clear as day now. And now they're even putting off the Hunter Biden's case while they try to expedite everything uh, they got uh, accusing Trump of. Uh, all the things they're accusing Trump of. Kind of crazy that way, huh, folks? They're trying to uh, beat us to the finish line as far as who's going to get in, uh, get in the bind first. Are the Biden's going to be exposed before 2024? Is anybody going to be prosecuted? When? And uh, all this stuff in front of the uh, the House and the Senate, is it all theatrics or is it real investigative work that's going to end in some kind of uh, maybe 2024 or 2025 Attorney General throws the hammer down on everybody that was involved in these uh, alleged treasonous actions? I'll leave it at that. Now, we got Josh Holly here, and he's got this dude in a bind. Uh, he is uh, fixing to light him up with some questions, 
and they're good questions. This guy just looks like a lion blooming idiot, and that's what they're going to do, and I don't know how you get answers out of people like that. Either they don't show up, or they sit there and just give you long-winded answers like Dr. Fauci that don't actually mean nothing, or they make up excuses like, because it's under investigation. I hate it, but I still like watching these Senate hearings because you learn a lot. But let's go ahead and get into it. Senator Hawley. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Abadi, let me just stay with you. You just started to answer Senator Blackburn's question that not releasing the 1023 or talking about it as a matter of life and death, question of life and death, you said. Explain. It is potentially a question of life and death for whom? with regard to the source of the information. Now, if you don't know, uh, folks, this is um, his excuse why he can't give up more information uh, that's involved with these 1023s because it's believed that the name that's on the, the document will be compromised. And so he's going, why don't you just redact the name? Well, he's trying to say that there's other information on there that may allude to the fact that you may figure out who all was involved. So it's a what I would call a bullshit excuse. Let's go ahead and get back into it. So, okay, so now we've confirmed that the document exists. That's progress because the FBI director initially denied that it exists. Why did he do that? We, we <laughs> have already and previously acknowledged the existence of the documents. Yeah, right? after you first denied it. Now, when a member of this committee read it, right, the FBI director, let's just get the record straight. The FBI director initially said it doesn't exist. Then Senator Grassley said, I've read it. Then he said, oh, okay, well, gotcha. I guess it does exist. Now you're going back and forth with members of this committee, what's in it. Why don't you just release it? Is it classified? The document is not classified. Okay. Will you commit to releasing it? Senator, we'll take that back and we will work with you in this committee. Uh, How about just a yes or no? Will you commit to releasing this unclassified document that alleges that the President of the United States, the President of the United States, Listen. has taken five million dollars or more in bribes from a foreign nation the document has already been released pursuant to a subpoena to the house oversight committee has it, it been released to be, this committee will work with this committee within the parameters that are established to meet will you request. release the document to the public it's unclassified don't you think the american people have a right to see it uh, senator <laughs> the document as you know contains sensitive information that has bearing on the life of the source of the information, potentially. You can redact the source's name. We do this all the time. In some instances, Senator, and I know you know this, that is not sufficient to protect people. And that's what we strive and work to do each. You got some impossibilities of in some situations, in certain circumstances, there's always the remote chance. Well, this guy's got some words here for us. And every day, and I hope you would take that seriously too. Oh, I take it very seriously. But I also take seriously the fact that your institution has repeatedly abused its authority, has repeatedly targeted political opponents. Your institution is the one that went to the door of pro-life protesters with SWAT teams to try and intimidate people because of their speech. Your institution is the one that treated parents as domestic terrorists because of their speech. Your institution is the one that, according to the court, the FISA court, ran 278,000 unwarranted, probably illegal queries on Americans, right? Kidding. That was your institution, correct? There, the, with respect to the compliance incidents, yes, some of the other things you cited, we can take them one by one. They are not. Compliance, you, you would characterize the unlawful querying 278,000 times of American citizens as compliance issues? We've Fine. said before, I've said that the totally unacceptable. Who's been uh, fired for it? Individuals involved uh, are handled through the disciplinary process. Who's been fired for it? We have, there will, in, the, in the case oh, of the uh, unintentional instance where something similar happened, we have fired people in the past. <laughs> Y'all hear that bullshit answer? Well, if, well in the past, when certain circumstances similar to this one have happened, we got on to those people. 
That was his answer, folks. Sorry, what, what, what does that word salad mean? The unintentional instance where some, what, what does that mean? Who's been fired for the 278,000 times that you improperly or illegally queried the database for American citizens? When we Anybody? When we find intentional incidents. Well, you're saying that the 278,000 queries were unintentional? <laughs> I believe that's correct. Wow, 278,000 times American citizens' information was queried by your agency unintentionally? That's your testimony? I would want to go back and check that, Senator. Uh, well, that's what you just told me. My oh, understanding so is that the vast majority of Well, wait, the, that's different. You just said it was. You just said it was unintentional. Now it's the vast majority. Which is it? Do you know? I would want to go back and check it. So you don't know. My understanding is that likely all are were unintentional likely in, all in, so first <laughs> it was all of them then it was vast majority now it's likely all. so you don't know is the answer to the question i don't know the answer as we sit here today but i will could have started with that probably <laughs> who was fired for the lies to the fisa court for the carter page warrant who, who who was fired for that anybody has anybody been held accountable for your institution deliberately lying to a FISA court to get a wiretap on an ongoing presidential campaign? There is an ongoing disciplinary process with respect to individuals involved in that. Here's the deal. You're back in front Bullshit. of us asking for the reauthorization of extraordinary authorities. Multiple courts have uncovered extraordinary abuses perpetrated by your agency. Yep. You are at the same time concealing information about serious allegations made against the President of the United States, even as your institution also targets his chief political opponent in an unprecedented way. Why would we ever give you the blank check that you want to continue surveilling American citizens in an improper manner? Why would we ever do that? Senator, we're here to talk Good about question. reforms today. I did get confirmation that the query... Is no, we're not. We're here to talk about the reauthorization of Section 702. Why would we reauthorize it, given your track record of abuse and illegal and proper surveillance right and political targeting? Why would we do that? Why would it be appropriate for this body to do that? We've made significant reforms and implemented corrective <laughs> measures. We've seen significant progress as a result of that, Senator. The... Uh, so you Queries say. that you mentioned early were, in fact, unintentional. That's what I was just told by my counterpart. That, that is an amazing. The earliest question, the earlier two, question. So your testimony is the 280,000 queries of American citizens was unintentional. That's your final answer? That's how they were assessed by that team that did the review. I'm not satisfied with that. That's yeah, why we oh. implemented further measures, as I announced earlier today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't believe that at all. And frankly, we've heard from your agency a thousand times that you're going to do better, we'll do better. You promised after the abuses of Title I you'd do better, and then we find out that in the meantime you're illegal query, illegally querying 280,000 American citizens' data. It's just, it's unbelievable, frankly. Everything you say is unbelievable. Senator. <laughs> That's a million-dollar question right there, folks. Do you respect the FBI at this point? I don't. I back the blue. I support the police. Not that 100% of them are good people. But a lot of them are out there doing uh, the best that they can to try to keep peace on these streets, and that's the way I have to look at it. Um, as far as the FBI, the three-lettered agencies, I'm sure there's good folks up in them agencies as well. But I think from the top down, we've got a lot of root, uh, a lot of rot to root out. There has definitely uh, been a huge exposing of really corrupt individuals. Uh, if we have learned anything at all about uh, politics since Trump has showed up in the scene, is our government is wickedly corrupt and has been for a very long time, and we're starting to see all the different tentacles in every one of these agencies of these evil, deceptive people that are just in it for the money, just in it for the power, uh, just in it for their own personal gain, and uh, that's not what this country was founded on. Uh, they have a job to do, and it doesn't involve harassing the public, lying to people, uh, uh, prosecuting people, trying to prosecute people like Trump while they cover up for the Bidens and lie while they're probably deeply involved, so they have to lie. But we've got these rats trapped, folks. Uh, they're trapped between a rock and a hard space. 
eventually a lot of this information will pour out like a like a puzzle it'll be literally laid out uh, all the different transactions will be able to see it on a bigger scale because the pieces are falling in place pretty quick they can't stop the information from being uh, from accumulating uh, they can sit there and the FBI can get in there and lie but um, the courts are giving up the information uh, when we ask for it uh, more than once now the courts have let us see and uh, I think that's the future of the situation because now it's a snowball effect of we can prove there's a problem why can't we look at it and that's what we're getting to and that's where we need to be folks we got to get Trump back in there Trump 2024 hope he puts the meanest attorney general he's got in there uh, to uh, take not just fire these people but do the right thing like subscribe and share devoted patriots I hope you enjoyed Josh Hawley ripping this idiot up I did. Have a great day.